ड्राफ्ट सम uh guess questions not uh, the specific questions from those topic but just a journal overview that how many questions are going to include from which section so that you can easily identify that how much you can easily uh, score in tomorrow's exam that is p1 for 5054 and uh, 06254 igcsc so let's talk about some uh basic concepts that how questions are going to be include uh, in your exam first of all our very first topic which is related to some basic measurements and units so you know that in measurements vernier caliper screw gauge is already excluded so now we are only have to measure uh, readings related to the ruler and all other measurement things that we already solve in specimen and some other early papers and according to that in last 30 papers Uh, so these are the number of papers i am going to explain with the reference of how many number of papers and how many questions are included in those papers related to that specific topic and what is the probability of the number of questions that are going to be included in your tomorrow's exam so this is the probability for the measurement for the topic first topic for our reference this is our topic one for our syllabus so according to that uh, around two questions are going to be included in your tomorrow exam which is related to measurement and units and if you don't know about the topics so topics are more likely which is related to the density to calculate the length by using ruler or different measurement or to calculate the time using stopwatch or some other devices or to calculate volume of regular or irregular shapes and to calculate the mass by using the formula of density and a uh, different formula so i'm not going to explain a uh, formula and all quantities in detail this is because this is just overview that how questions are going to be include in your exam so this is the first section or we can say that these are the starting two questions which are going to be uh, included in your final mcqs exam and second topic is related to force and motion so basically this topic is very much extended and this topic is very much important so in last 30 papers i found almost 147 question that is very high probability uh, 140 questions are included in last 30 papers which means that in your exam uh, around 5 questions are going to be included in your final exam that is for 2023 okay so this is a uh, topic number 2 which is going to be included and around 5 mcqs are going to be included in your final exam and what topics which are going to be included force and motion so basically these are the topic uh, mostly we talk about the resultant force or to calculate the resultant force at the resultant force all these type uh, questions are going to be included in force and motion and further we discuss about terminal velocity how acceleration and velocity are going to be change increase decrease during terminal velocity the free fall motion momentum which is newly included in uh, 5054 but already included in igcsc so these types of questions are going to be included and total of around 5 questions are going to include in your paper related to this specific topic and these are some topics from which questions are going to be included so you may just uh check out yourself also that how questions are going to be included on, in your exam and how you practice those topics okay so this is topic number 3 first uh, previous topic is related to force and motion and this is topic number 3 uh, which is related to force and pressure so basically uh, force is a detailed topic and in every topic we know that in the formula of pressure in the formula of newton second law uh, in momentum or in all formula we know that force is already included so that's why force can be added with any specific topic so that's why this is topic number 3 basically force and pressure previously is force and motion so 
uh, for this specific topic in last 30 papers, I found around 100 questions. It means that the probability of the number of questions which are going to be included in your final exam is around three questions, uh, three MCQs in your final exam, which is related to pressure and force because you know manometer is excluded. Uh, so that's why uh, most of the question excluded and there will be new questions or we, we can say that related to some other topic related to pressure. So basic properties of pressure, how increase or decrease the pressure with some other quantities, pressure in liquid atmospheric pressure. So these are the topics related to pressure, which is going to be included. And we talk about elastic deformation, elasticity. Uh, so maybe uh, there will be a question related to that topic or most important, we discuss about the turning effect of forces. That is the moment the equilibrium state, clockwise rotation, anti-clockwise rotation. So that is topic number three. And around three questions are going to be included according to the probability. Okay, so this is uh, the third topic. And fourth topic is again related to force, but there is a difference because in this topic, this is topic number four. And in topic number four, we are going to uh, having a question related to force and energy because again, we saw that inner energy force is also included because in the formula work done, uh, work done against the gravity with the gravity, kinetic energy, all those stuff which is related to force and energy. So that is topic number four. And in last 30 questions, I found, sorry, in last 30 papers, I found around 72 questions which are related to force and energy. So it means that the same probability around two questions are going to be included, which is related to energy and forces, right? So not many questions are going to be included according to the probability. Okay, so basically this is not pressure, this is energy. So it means that uh, these are the topics which we studied, the kinetic energy, gravitational potential energy, work done, power, efficiency. So these are the topics which is related to the topic of energy, uh, the sources of energy which are going to be included, which is related to force. So basically this is the journal section or the section of journal physics. And there are many questions which are going to be included around 10 to 13 questions are going to be included related to journal physics. Moving towards the next topic, which is topic number five. Last one is topic number four, yes. So this is topic number five, thermal physics. So in thermal physics, this is another important section. I already told you that journal physics, thermal physics waves, uh, these three sections are major section of your paper and it covers almost 75% of your exam. So in last 30 paper, I found around 176 question from thermal physics and the probability of the question which are going to be add from thermal physics is around six questions because we know most of the questions are related to the theoretical concept, the conduction, convection, radiation, and the structure of solid, liquid, gas, how energy is going to be transferred. So these are the topics. So these are the topics which are going to be include from uh, thermal physics, the specific heat, uh, the rate of evaporation, how evaporation increase or decrease, the boiling point, melting point, condensation, sublimation, specific heat capacity. So these are the topic because you know thermometers are excluded. So now no more questions are going to be included from thermometer. So it means that we are going to uh, experience around five to six questions in our MCQs related to thermal physics. Okay, moving towards the next section because thermal physics is a type of a combined section. There are three different chapters, but we know that uh, there is a combined stuff related to thermal energy. So the sixth topic is related to pressure. This is topic number six, which is, sorry, which is related to the properties. This is a, the third major important section of your physics paper. And in last 30 paper, I found around 203 questions, which is high probability greater than the thermal physics. So around seven questions are going to be included from this section, which is related to the properties of wave. So the topics which are included in properties of wave, we know that there is a wide section of journal properties of wave and light. Sound is not much greater because we discuss about echo, uh, how to calculate using V is equals to F lambda, reflection of light, uh, waves, refraction of light and waves the prism spectrum, that rainbow color, Vibgear, 
and the how to calculate critical angle sign of incidence sign of reflection refraction all these topics are going to be included in your uh, section number topic number six which is properties of wave okay so we are done with three section that is journal physics uh, thermal physics and the properties of wave and topic number seven is for electricity so electricity is another important uh, section because most of the students cared for this topic because this topic is very much detailed and uh, conceptual. So in last 30 papers, I found out 187 questions, which means that there is a probability of six questions uh, which are going to be included in your final exam. So it means that it also have great weightage because after that, we only left out with the atom, nuclear physics, and the space physics. So that's why this is the second most important section. Uh, first one, we combine journal physics, waves, and thermal. So you need to prepare these three topics if you prepare these three topics very well. So your paper almost 75% gone very well. Then you can easily solve the electricity uh, question in the remaining time. So we are going to have around six questions. Uh, from the electricity section according to the probability of last year exams and last year papers and the topics you already know about that how to calculate current the formula related to current potential difference voltage emf resistance uh, the ohm's law filament thermistor how to calculate the power dissipation how to calculate the power of uh, any specific component and the series parallel combination, which is related to the cells, which is related to the resistor. So all these topics are going to be included in your electricity, right? So this is our basically topic number seven. Okay, now moving towards the topic number eight, which is related to electromagnetism, or we can say that magnets and current. So that is topic number eight, basically. So basically topic number eight is related to electromagnetism or we can say that magnets and currents. So this is another conceptual uh, topic. And in last 30 papers, I found 129 questions, uh, which is less as compared to the electricity. So electricity covers more uh, weightage as compared to electromagnetism because four questions are going to be included according to the probability from last 30 papers. So around four questions are going to be included in your paper, which means that uh, the topics which are going to be covered in electromagnetism, you know about the DC motor, AC generator, transformer. Uh, these are the different topics uh, which are going to be included in your electromagnetism or electromagnetic section. So the DC motor, AC generator, transformers, left hand rule right hand rule so these are the kind of topics which are going to be included in your electromagnetism or magnets and current right and moving towards the next section okay moving towards the topic number nine which is now related to the nuclear physics and the space physics and the atomic model of an atom so that is uh, topic number nine and in topic number nine we uh, discuss about the basic concept of atomic model and in last uh, 30 papers, I found 46 questions, which is a very less number of questions from the atomic model. So the probability of the questions which are going to be included from this section is around two questions uh, from this section that atomic model. So that's not much very difficult because in chemistry for chemistry exam, you already studied much about atom and atomic model. So this section is not much very difficult for you guys because in this section, you already know about the electrons, the charges, that same charge attract, uh, repel each other, unlike charge attract each other, the uh, electrostatic uh, force of charges or electrostatic between charges or these type of questions are going to be included, which is related to proton, neutron number, how to calculate number of neutrons, protons. So these type of questions are included in your atomic model section. Equation means how to calculate uh, the number of neutrons because you know that number of nucleons and proton number is mentioned for the symbol. So you need to calculate uh, by subtracting the equation for number of neutrons. And the next section is related to the radioactivity that is topic number 10. 
so in topic number 10 uh, this is important uh, section as compared to the atomic model so in last 30 papers there are around 93 questions so it means it has greater weightage as compared to the previous section so around three questions are going to be included from this section and you know this topic very well that radioactivity contains the half life how to calculate the half life uh, how number of nuclei are going to be decay the properties of alpha beta gamma that is the properties of radiation and you know the graph of half-life how to draw the graph for half-life then we have fission fusion reaction the working of nuclear reactor so these type of topics are going to be included from radioactivity section and last but not the least the important section which is newly included in 2023 that is of space physics and that is i think topic number 11. so that is topic number 11 and from topic number 11 that is from space physics. We know that space physics is uh, not included in last year. So we only have the specimen paper and Feb March paper of IGCSC. So from those papers, I found out around six questions. Uh, that means from two papers, there are six questions. It means compulsory three questions are going to be included from space physics. So if space physics, because space physics is newly included, so surely there will be a question related to space physics. So around three questions are going to be included from this section, the space physics section, right? And the topic we already studied about the space physics, the basic information about planet, moon, star, sun, the, what is galaxy, comet, asteroids, the life cycle of a star, which is most important. The redshift is important. We also discussed the evidence of big bang theory then orbital speed so these are the topics which are related from space physics so i again mention over here that uh first of all try to make clear your concept as much as you can which is related to the complete section of journal physics so this is most important then studied wave whole section including sound light spectrum then start studying or re revise the concepts related to the thermal physics. You may take help from topicals or lectures which are already included on my channel if you stuck somewhere or if you found anything difficult. All topicals and yearly solutions are available. Then you start studying the nuclear section. And then finally, the space physics. But before that, uh, one thing I missed over here, that is the whole section of electricity and electromagnetism. So the fourth important topic is electricity and magnetism. And in at last, you start studying the nuclear physics and space physics, right? So this is the sequence of our paper and this is the uh, number of question guess. I again mentioned that these are not the confirmed questions. These are only a guess which is going to be that how many questions are going to be included in your paper. And according to your preparation, you can easily just observe yourself that how many questions you can easily attempt or how much mass you can easily get after preparing all these topics. So that's all from my side. Best of luck for all students. I hope uh, and I am uh, wish you all the best for all students, those who are in my batch or not, or for those students who are only studying uh, with the help of my YouTube channel, YouTube videos. So best of luck and I am waiting for a positive and good response from you after your exam. Uh, till then, take care. Allah Hafiz. Goodbye. Inshallah, we will meet in uh in your next session that is for a levels right